Former Olympic gymnast, including gold medalist Simone Biles, are among dozens of assault victims who are seeking more than $1 billion from the FBI for failing to stop sports doctor Larry Nasser. Lawyers said on Wednesday, there was no dispute the FBI agents in 2015 knew that Nasser was accused of molesting gymnasts, but they failed to act, leaving him free to continue to target young women and girls for more than one year. It is time for the FBI to be held accountable, said Maggie Nichols, a national champion gymnast at Oklahoma in 2017 through 19. Under federal law, a government agency has six months to respond to the tort claim. Lawsuits could follow, depending on the FBI's response. The Justice Department said in May that it would not pursue criminal charges against the former FBI agents who failed to promptly open an investigation. The approximately 90 claimants include gold medalist Biles, Ali Raisman, Michaela Moroni, according to Manley, Stewart & Finaldi, a California law firm. Nasser, who was a Michigan State sports doctor and worked for the United States Gymnastics, is serving a decades-long prison sentence. Hundreds of women and girls, mostly gymnasts, said that he molested them during visits for hip, back, and leg injuries. Quote, if the FBI had simply done its job, Nasser would have been stopped before he ever had the chance to abuse hundreds of girls, including me, said a former University of Michigan gymnast, Samantha Roy. Indianapolis-based USA Gymnastics told the local FBI agents in 2015 that three gymnasts said they were assaulted by Nasser, a team doctor, but the FBI did not open a formal investigation or inform federal or state authorities in Michigan according to the Justice Department's Inspector General and their internal watchdog. Los Angeles FBI agents in 2016 began a sexual tourism investigation against Nasser and interviewed several victims, but also did not alert Michigan authorities, the Inspector General said. Nasser was not arrested until the fall of 2016 during an investigation by Michigan State University Police. He was a doctor at Michigan State. The Michigan Attorney General's office ultimately handled the assault charges against Nasser, while federal prosecutors in Grand Rapids, Michigan, filed a child pornography case, and he is serving decades in prison. Narrator's note. Hopefully, while he's serving that time, he'll be passed around like a blunt at Woodstock. For Headlines with a Voice, this has been the Lockhart Perspective.